This video will focus on how income distribution can affect resource allocation. Now this is a pretty exciting topic because resource allocation is the fundamental uh, concept of market e economics. Um, we, we live in a market capitalist economy which means that resource allocation is determined by the forces of supply and demand. And so what this means is that those with greatest purchasing power can determine where resources are allocated. So purchasing power or spending power determines resource allocation. So in theory, resources should be allocated so that needs and wants are maximized and that our living standards are again maximized. But we're going to assume for the minute that the income distribution in Australia is inequitable. Because if the income distribution was equitable, then this wouldn't be a problem that we'd be concerned about. So we're going to assume that income distribution is inequitable. And so what this means is that the top quintiles would have a larger proportion of the income cake or the large proportion of total national income than lower uh, than, than the lower quintiles. So if there is a gap between high and low incomes, it is most likely that there will be an overproduction of luxury items. So there is an overproduction of luxury items. So why is there an overproduction of luxury items? And this is because businesses seek to maximize profits. So because high income earners dominate the purchasing power of the economy, they're going to dictate where resources are allocated because businesses will want to maximize their profits because they're profit hungry uh, machines to an extent. Uh, they're going to actively uh, allocate resources to places where those rich people demand it. And of course they're going to satisfy their basic uh, needs, and needs in water, shelter, food um, and education. Those needs are going to be uh, met. But what they want further is these luxury items. So say luxury items for example, sports cars designer clothes, um, sporting arenas, sporting events, um, fine dining. And we can, we can think of many more luxury items that we don't really need but we want so that we can make our lives that little much, that, that much more better. So unfortunately what this means is because our resources are indeed limited and that the allocation of resources come at an opportunity cost because there is an overproduction of luxury items we will see that there will be an underproduction of necessities so even though the rich have these necessities met, the other 90% or the lower quintiles of the population may not have their necessities met. And so these necessities such as uh, basic food, affordable medicine, housing, transport, education required by the poor, because they these individuals have, have a lack of money or a lack of purchasing power to express their need or their demand for these necessities, Businesses aren't going to produce them because they're not going to maximize profits here. So what this means is that resources are indeed inefficiently allocated if there is income distribution. Because we see that the material living standards of the rich are indeed met. So material living standards, because denote this MLS, are met. I'll give it a double tick. But the material living standards 
of the poor or politically correctly speaking um, the less well off will not be met. I'm not going to put three crosses here because it is very bad if they're not meeting their their um, material living standards. And so a way of correcting this is to actually actively involve in by the government into these markets. And so what they do is the government aims to tax the rich and therefore provide these services such as these necessities such as education, so public education, public health services, public transport, and all these services to the poor so that the income distribution or the, the resource allocation can be more effectively allocated so that the needs and wants of society are met rather than only the wants of the rich. So that's how income distribution or an inequitable income distribution can distort resource allocation so that it becomes inefficient and the needs and wants of the entire society are not met as opposed to where when a, a society or an economy has an equitable distribution of income which may result in a more efficient allocation of resources so that needs and wants of the entire economy are met rather than only those capable, those rich enough, who are capable enough to uh, manipulate businesses into producing certain luxury items.